What is good? We're back with a double fresh crack. We got Big D back on the mics. What's good, Big D? Double fresh crack for your pleasure. Let's go. Say that's a good thing on the pod. Bad thing if it's plumbers. Yeah. So. <laughs> Missing the Rangers game tonight, so go Rangers. But we are going to do a little moves to make with your rookie quarterbacks. My rookie pick is worth what? So we're going to put these rookie quarterbacks <laughs> up against uh, some veterans and talk about you know who we would like. Would you rather? A little bit more mystery box talk as things evolve. You taking the mystery box, which is what this is always about, or you're going to take the proven veteran kind of around and we're going to figure out which veterans are around there using the FFD ADP and also some of our uh, kind of personal rankings of how we view these guys. So I think you hit all the keywords. We're good to go. Nailed it. <laughs> all right, Big D. Bow, 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 bow. Obviously, Caleb Williams, quarterback numero uno for the uh, rookies here. He's currently QB seven. Uh, 108 in the FFD ADP, so pretty strong. Pretty strong. But in examining your personal rookie rankings there, how do you feel about Kyler versus Caleb Williams? Yeah, I mean, I've got Kyler above Caleb, which is... This is uh, the hot take episode, Big D. A little, little spicy. Get your deodorant. Um, I, I just... Uh, I mean, I know that, uh, you know, Caleb is the sure thing and we're already going to give him that jacket, but we've had a lot of sure things over the years and uh, I've seen Kyler do it. Um, and you've added one of the best weapons in the draft to Marvin, the Martian. I don't know. What is, does Marvin have a nickname yet? Maserati Marv. <laughs> oh, okay. Maserati, Maserati Marv. I think that was Maserati. more just uh, Gus Johnson or uh, is it Gus Johnson? Yeah, yeah, but the no point is, is that I, I just feel like Kyler points per game wise with his feet. There's a lot of targets that I, I I don't know. I go back and forth between the Bears and the the Cardinals, and part of this is just the Cardinals play in a dome ish type you know atmosphere. Mm -hmm. um, Kyler, when he's healthy, is you know points per game. He's right up there with all the. With all the big dudes, with all yep. the big dogs, um, you know, he hasn't had a wide receiver uh, since Fitz retired. And even when Fitz was there, he was, you know, towards the end of his career. So um, he, he's had wide receivers. But what I mean is he hasn't had a wide receiver with the pedigree that Marvin supposedly has. Right. Mm. But it's also he's a rookie. We don't know how that's going to turn out. So. Um, just from a dynasty perspective, I mean, it's probably the smarter move to go Caleb, but when I'm building my teams, I'm looking for points and winning championships. And so I have in my personal rankings, I have Kyler above, above Caleb. Which... Right. And, and, you, and you're not suggesting that if you, if you were on the clock at one, one, you would just trade it away for Kyler Murray, right? It, this is more of a points in my lineup value if i'm in in right. a league and i know where i'm going and i can get extra to move to a kyler that that that's to to be clear correct yeah from a dynasty perspective it's kyler plus right you right now you're getting kyler plus for for caleb and and for me the points scored um are what matters in that transaction so i know whatever plus i get is the whipped cream on top and kyler is going to you know, he has a strong possibility that he's going to outscore Caleb, especially in the first year and possibly the first two years. And so so for me, it's um, it's it's Kyler over Caleb. But, yeah, you're right. I mean, if I'm in a startup and, I'm, you know, if it's in a vacuum, I, I think you'd have to go Caleb over over Kyler um, just from a value perspective. And then, you know, if you're not into Caleb, you can probably trade him later because he's going to have insulated value. But but from a from a point scoring perspective, I, I like to move down. Um, quote unquote, from Caleb to Kyler and move up in my points per game. Um, you yeah. know, there's question marks with Kyler. It's it's a risky move because you've got you don't have um, the last two seasons. He hasn't been healthy. Um, you know, there's you know there's changes there um, that he hasn't really got the chance to. What 2023? I think he played I think five games, week, week eight 10, or eight games. Week, week ten, he came back. I think or week eleven. Yeah. And in a points, let's see, fantasy points perspective i mean he was in the 20s which you know coming off an injury i think he averaged around 20 points in 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 most leagues um with a six point touchdown um i you know averaging around 20 points coming off an injury it's a new new system than what he you know when he got injured 
I don't know. For me, that was a that was a green light. And then when you add Trey Benson and you add Marvin Harrison Jr. and you know, my, I I I personally like um, Mike Wilson as a like a wide receiver three, wide receiver four, you know, flex type of guy. Zay Jones was killing it in in Jaguars, uh, Jaguars, <laughs> in Jacksonville. Yeah, that's, that's a great ad for them. Yeah, and uh, you know, oh, I Zay love Jones. that ad. You got, got a little. You got, got to give some uh, love to the Dorch. You know, the Dorch yeah, is still sure. hanging around there. And, More love and, to Zay you know, Jones, though. Everybody sorry. loves the Dorch. Zay Everybody Jones. loves the Dorch. And then they added Tip. You know, and Tip is, um, you know, Tip's an interesting. Yeah. Uh, he's a blocker. You know, he can. He's he a blocker. Can, yeah. And and they talked about a lot of you know two tight end sets, and so Tip and Elijah Higgins. I, I like Elijah yeah. Higgins, and I was bummed. I, I like I like that Higgins. Or uh, yeah, that's that's a, that's a good call there. He's he's fun. Yeah. Deep roster, stash him away for a rainy Deep day. Deep roster, he's fun, and I think it's a, it's a good, um, you know, we don't normally handcuff tight ends, but I think it's a good idea mm-hmm. that if they're creating their offense around Trey McBride to, to you know, to at least have Elijah in your in your, in your your roster if you can have it, um, it, you know. But anyway, yeah, back to Kyler. I, I just think, you know, going through that, looking at the talent, uh, knowing the division he's in, there's going to be some changes. Obviously, San Francisco is always going to be tough defensively. Seattle – who knows, right? We got a new system going on in the in in the Pacific Northwest, and so it you know that that that's to be seen. Um, right. The Rams have a decent young defense, but it's young, so mm-hmm. you know I, I just think that there's 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 um, the probability there is 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 high for Kyler to outscore Caleb in the yeah. first year. Yeah, no, I get it. Um, I, I like it. I've definitely uh, any anything past Caleb, I've been trying to trade for Kyler, but I, I understand the concept of where you're coming from. I, I, I think I'm I, like you said, in a startup, you got to take Caleb. And I would agree with that on, on most fronts, the value that you can get from going back from Caleb to Kyler is I think pretty good. So I, I, I understand what you're saying and don't hate that. How about Anthony Richardson or, or Caleb? That, that seems like the dividing line there for a lot of people. And I think, I think I'm probably going Anthony Richardson uh, in that deal, just because w- the brief glimpse that we saw, he was just breaking football so uh yeah. fantasy wise yeah he's got josh allen upside mm-hmm. so I, I definitely am going anthony richardson over caleb um again for me it's over it's the it's the point thing right um right. and a startup probably not if i'm trading caleb and i can get anthony richardson plus um probably can't but i don't know you, you never know people people are crazy if if caleb drops a few more dimes to dunze this off season you know you know right. who knows where his his value is gonna go so but but for me i think caleb is probably floor wise or uh ceiling wise you know joe burrow cj stroud mm-hmm. you know josh allen lamar hurts those are guys that can be quarterback one overall. And I think Anthony Richardson, I don't think he's, I'm not claiming that, right. But this is kind of a hot takey show. I think Anthony Richardson can be in that conversation with um, the established uh, offense that they have. They've got Michael Pittman, you know, we've got Jonathan Taylor. And like you said, I mean, it was a short sample size, but if Anthony Richardson doesn't stretch out on the goal line and have that freak thing and have to have that surgery, I mean, he was just killing it. Uh, oh, man. Away, so, yeah, no, I, I, Anthony Richardson, so much fun. It's it's a close one. Anthony Richardson, maybe maybe by a hair currently, but let's let's move on to Jaden Daniels, next quarterback. I think in most people's uh, rankings here. Hey guys, a quick reminder to head over to patreoncom slash Dynasty to sign up for a free membership to get access to the free Discord channel, or hit your boys with the five dollar holler and get access to extra shows, mock drafts, roster reviews. And also our 2024 rookie draft kit, complete with rookie rankings, ADP, and player pages, all for your pleasure. Is uh, is, is Jordan Love and and Trevor Lawrence ahead of Jaden Daniels still for you? Yeah, for me they are. It's been established on the pod last season at, the, at around this time. I just was not. I, I wasn't in love with Love. Yeah. Um, I didn't. I didn't have. You weren't love, even in like with him. Yeah, I wasn't even in like. Yeah, I mean, I didn't even give him a, a thumbs up. It was kind of the the he thinks weird. He's the best dancer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but as the season went on, and 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 not just the season, his his play style and that uh, really evolved. And so yeah. for me, I I like what he's got going on there. Um, Trevor Lawrence is a it, it, that's a hard one, but again, I, I I look at the points perspective, and I think Jalen Daniels probably has the higher ceiling, but I, I still think Trevor Lawrence is going to outscore him this year and and possibly next year. Um, as, MVP, as what Jordan you talking Love. about? <laughs> Where'd he go, Trevor? Come back. Clemson Love going on Trevor, over there. If you wondered. But w- what's your take? I mean, you got you got Love and Lawrence above 
JD or you got JD above Love and Lawrence? I'm probably sticking with those two guys uh, above Jaden Daniels. And, and I, you know, you could, I, there's going to be a lot of people who aren't going to like Trevor Lawrence ahead of Jaden Daniels. And I get it. Jaden Daniels, we, just, we were just given the rushing upside guys all the love and, and, Jaden Daniels is is right here, but not not hadn't quite surpassed those guys. I I I think both of those guys are really good players. I have a lot of confidence and faith in Trevor Lawrence. I think that there's going to be a strong season for for Jacksonville and Trevor Lawrence really restaking his claim of of being a very good quarterback. So MVP <laughs> it was on the Hot Take Show. Go check that out. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. Oh yeah, all that jazz. Maybe we should take a Ding. commercial break right here. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I, that, that, that's kind of the way I feel right there. I guess the next one was, it, you know, Dak or Jaden Daniels. I mean, again, it's it's Dak for me. I know that he's old in 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 the world of, uh, of, of fantasy, but he's not old in the world of dynasty. In my my opinion, he's yeah, what, 30? 30. You know, what? how old is 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 Kirk and he's he's still slinging it when Kirk was 30? What, what kind of points was he putting up? And the only reason why I bring up Kirk is because, you know, Dak's always been there's been that that comment about yeah. Dak is uh, the but version of Kirk. And as you can I, see on the screen at, at the tubes, Dak was QB three last year. <laughs> yeah, and so yeah, again for me, I mean it's you know in in a vacuum, if I'm doing a startup, you know it's it, it's hard because you're making that decision in round super flex. You're making that decision what round two ish three. Well, it's funny you should ask. I have FFT uh, ADP right here. Jaden Daniels two eleven, Dak Prescott three oh three. That was me on my segue. Um, <laughs> no, uh, yeah. What was so two eleven and three oh three? Yeah. So I mean, the end of the second round, and so it, it's you know when you're in a startup that 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 I understand that that decision is going to be hard, but it's it's the mystery me, box of the proven thing, and one guy is thirty, right. and one guy is really young and has a ton of rushing upside, and and you know mm -hmm. talking out of both sides of our mouths with the rushing upside, but I you know I just. I'm I'm not well, but I, I haven't seen the rushing upside. So right. that that's the difference. I've seen right. Anthony Richardson score in the NFL. I've seen Caleb Williams score in the NFL. Um I I haven't seen Jalen Daniels score in the NFL, right? And so for me that that's kind of where I, I go when it when I talk about rushing upside, it's 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 very prominent. And that's the only reason why Jalen Daniels is in my personal rankings higher than, you know, some some yeah, some of oh, the others that we'll get to. So I think um, I think we're all the yeah, I think we're all right yeah. right around this range, which is what makes the deci the decision of those two guys tough. Um, mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm not I'm just not a, a thousand percent sold on Jaden Daniels overall. I think I think fun player and and really could be shooting up these boards to be an end of the first round pick really really quickly and and, and may do so. I just. Um, yeah, I mean you gotta you gotta take Dak plus is what you gotta do here, right? Yeah. Well, if you're if you're trade value wising and, and and Dak the for the fact that Dak's you know, Dak's a huge buy for me right now in yeah. general, so uh, you might be crossing these things a little bit in my circuits up here of saying like Dak's a huge buy the the, the values down and and Jaden but not is, is yeah, right here at, that, at that same area in in startup ADP so sure but you you don't have to pay that probably uh and I think I want Brock over Jaden Daniels too real quick rapid fire I mean Tua or Jaden Daniels I'll take Jaden Daniels JD just because of the value yeah perception he, but he, like in terms of like who's going to be better on your team he, for the next? A, he's a lot less locked in i think than all those other guys everybody you're, feels you're, a little you're gambling on the contract coming um, right you, you got to get the contract and and then mm -hmm. you'll feel a little bit better oh, you'll but feel I, great um, um, then it's all then it's wheels up right. I, I i know Tua can do it i just i think there's a decent gap there for me all right all right move along so nothing but, to see here how, all right so, so you taking brock or Jaden daniels uh big d uh, I'm gonna go JD there. Brock Parody. Yeah. Brock, 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 Brock. Shout out to Brock. <laughs> For What'd you Fisher. say, Mister? What'd you Mr. say, Relevance? Uh, I'm going JD there. Okay. Um, yeah. Give me Brock, Casey. It's that's close. I mean, Brock or 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 Dak. Dak. Brock. Easy. I'll take. I'm easy. A, I, I think yeah. I'd go same tier. Um, give me Brock. I'd go same tier there, and I think Jaden Daniels is floating. In, yeah, I got Dak as well. I got a so. tier. I got That's Dak a tier above. Kinda, um, yeah, JD and um, and Brock personally. But fair enough. Y'all um, know that people aren't gonna like that. Dak's not even gonna be starting the end of the year. Yeah. 
That was a hot take too. <laughs> yeah, having some fun, having some fun. All right, well let's bring let's bring Drake May into the fold then. All right, Drake May or Brock Purdy? Uh, Brock Purdy. Jason, did you want to weigh in on this? I can't be weighing in anymore. Uh, Y'all okay. can go. Okay. <laughs> Drake uh, May or Brock Purdy? Yeah, easily Brock Purdy. What are we doing here? <laughs> I, so I, I I like Drake May almost as much as I like Jaden Daniels. So and I think there's good rushing upside with with Drake May as well. So I you know I got those guys probably in the same tier and all these guys probably right around the same tier. So um, yeah, it's close. I mean, it, Brock's done it and he's and I know he's good and the situation's good and and it seems like it should be good for you know. They don't really show any signs of slowing down. I know people want How the Niners. How much time you got, buddy? The Niners uh, to to fold up once they have to Psh. pay. Brock Purdy, but I don't know. They seem to keep figuring it out one way or another. So, um, Q- QB six last year. I mean, he's yeah. tw- he's, he's he's already twenty four. No, but- no off season really. He uh, and his you know yet yeah, now he can get all off season. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I'll I'll edge slightly edge. to Purdy there, but it's um same tier really for me. Yeah, I think I think all these guys that you just mentioned are all in the same tier for me. So, um. We use this expression before. It's not worth getting red in the face over, right? Like, right. I'm, you know, if somebody has Drake May higher or or Goff, I think the one that people may get uh, upset about is Trevor Lawrence and and probably Deshaun Watson because I also have him in this tier, which is, uh, you know, for some uh, hot take. But again, I've it seen him. I, I've seen him <laughs> succeed. Um, you know, and and if it's value for value, no, obviously I'm not taking Deshaun Watson over any of these guys but if i'm if i'm getting um deshaun watson plus to trade jalen daniels i'll do that you know all day personally yeah. all right um all right so we talked a little too we brought two up a minute ago two or drake may i got two just slightly above drake may okay i i just um i i like drake may as well and i i had him um i think like consensus uh qb3 prior to the draft and then um or prior to the combine and then into the draft and and he's kind of stayed there the whole time and so um i i like him i think he's he's exciting but there's a to me there's more risk in may than there is in jalen daniels um just because of experience right i mean jd has been around for a while and gone through a few different teams and at the collegiate level and, and drake may is relatively new to the quarterback position, right? So uh, there's there's some unknowns in in Drake May that just bumps him down a little bit. But again, same tier, just at the bottom of the tier for me. Yeah, that, that I would. That's kind of what I would say with two. I, I want to have him in the tier with all those guys because I think he can put up points like all those guys. But he's probably in the next tier down or at the bottom of that tier. I'm I'm working through my QB rankings, you know, right now and. I think yeah. I think that was a good way to illustrate that, and I don't, you know, I, don't, I wouldn't get too crazy about it. But in this case, I, I'll probably take the mystery box with Drake May, and I really and and, and probably regret it. Um, but I, yeah. I also do really like Drake May. So look at there's so many moves that we could be making right now. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> he said it. I, just, I think I think the challenge with Drake May is the weapons that he's got. Right, like part of the reason why we like all these guys, including Birdie, is because of the weapons that he's oh, got. Sure. But, you know. Um, we don't know what New England's going to look like. You know, you got Pop Douglas there. You got Juju. Yeah, we got Gibson there, which is great for checkdowns. I think yeah. that's you know that's a strong ad for for a, a rookie quarterback. And then you've got you know the two the two rookies, the um, Polk and Baker, with uh, Kendrick Bourne. And I don't know. I mean, you know, I think he's he's got a decent floor because of his rushing upside. But for me, I just don't see the ceiling right now. You know, give him a couple years. Yeah. Give him a couple targets. I could see that, but but that's part of the reason why I think his performance this year, twenty twenty four, you'd be able to buy him in the middle of the season. Uh, possibly I mean, he may not even play for a, a couple games. You know, he, he might not yeah, start. Yeah, uh, which I don't. I don't care if he does or does. You know, I, I'm not. I'm not judging Drake May or really Jaden Daniels off of exactly what's about to happen when they when they come in and start. It's all. It's the tools and the and you know what they have going in that that has me having these guys ranked in 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 a certain way and taking them over other guys and you know we we have no idea exactly the patriots uh system and patriot way at this point because it's a whole new whole new deal and and i you know i kind of like that the fact of that they can all grow here together as a as a nice little nucleus they they spent two picks on wide receivers will they both hit i don't know i think pop douglas can play it is certainly not sexy or fun um but I, i i think 
I think you're going to see May play at some point, if not the whole season, um, and, and probably have some growing pains. So probably there, there might be a little dip on, on Drake May for the impatient folks, but I kind of am, am waiting all that going in, and I'm not you know, worried week eight about this Drake May take. This is a long-term dynasty take because that's you know, kind of what we're doing. Exactly. Uh, right. Yeah. So you got one year max, but <laughs> yeah. Then you're <laughs> done. Dead. All right. Let's move down to the next next tier of quarterback here. And some people would say uh, over over Drake May here. So JJ McCarthy or Jared Goff. 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 Goff for me. Yep. Goff. W- would you take Goff over Drake May? I would. Yep. Okay. Uh, with the contract, with the weapons, you know what what I've seen from him again. It's more of just the I know what I'm getting type of thing. How over much more the, does two signing box. a contract? Does that move him? Does that make you feel better? Does that solidify so it? So much, dude. Does Are that you kidding move me? him up in your rankings? What do you? How would that make you feel? Yeah, I think it would. I mean, I don't think it. To me, it doesn't change the tier. It may re- change his level in the tier, but I, I'm not going to put him in. Like I still would want Jordan Love over Tua as an example. Like yeah. even with Tua I, locked in, you I know? think it just um, gives the public just yeah the, the, so much more feeling of stability that not like it right. just I like Tua, but he feels like such a volatile asset is the prop right now, right? Yeah, it seems like he's hanging on by a thread for some reason, and I don't know why, why the value's just hanging on by a thread, but it is. And if but if well, they pay him, if they you, pay him, it's done. You got it. That that has to yeah. like go away done a little deal. bit, right? For sure. I think Tua is golf from a couple of years ago, right? Like mm-hmm. everybody was like, I don't want golf on my team, blah, 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 you know? Mm-hmm. And now golf has got that contract. He's, he's the, the, I don't know. He's, I think he's got the key to the city. Sure. We better lock up. But he, you know, I, I think Tua is right around that, you know, with the concussions and some of the struggles that he had early on golf with the struggles that he had at the Rams, um, even though he was a decent quarterback and Tua was also a decent quarterback. So I think that it's just that initial taste in your mouth, but yeah, I mean, I think he gets locked in. I don't think he jumps out of the tier for me, but I do think he probably would slide up a little bit. All right. All right. Let's, let's move to JJ, JJ or Deshaun Watson. I'm going to go to Sean there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think JJ, again, he's got a, we talked about mystery box at the, at the top of the show and he's got a lot of upside and, you know, arguably the best weapon in the game with Justin, uh, with JJ there, as long oh, as he signs Jordan Addison. Yeah, I almost did. Um, <laughs> well, I was actually going to see, say, uh, Nikhil Harry, but oh, um, oh. yeah. <laughs> No, I mean he he's got all the weapons. Uh he's, you know, but it, but again, he's got some when you look at his tape and you can't really pinpoint anything cuz they didn't ask him to do stuff. You know, the, the I guess the thing is is that Minnesota's locked in uh with him, right? They took him where they did because they they believe in him. Um so there's a lot of insulated value there, but Again, in this in this area, I'm I'm trying to get some points here, right? So I think I would take Baker over JJ. Um, again, not straight up in a draft, but but from a value perspective, I, I think I would lean Baker over JJ at this point. Yeah, you lean you, Deshaun over JJ. Yeah, Deshaun over JJ. Deshaun mm-hmm. over Baker too. And then Baker over McCarthy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, I definitely Deshaun over um, Baker or. Trying to think if I've, I feel like I never have to make that decision because somebody's already taken JJ. Bryce Young or JJ? Uh, it's a coin flip for me. I, I think that it depends on what I'd get on top because I think you're getting quite a bit on top for Young. And yeah. uh, I like uh, the the cornball, uh, Cornalis there in, in um, Carolina. Carolina. And yeah. so I believe that he's going to put Bryce Young in mm-hmm. the position to succeed this year. Um, I don't know if that necessarily happened last year, so I'm I'm kind of a wait and see with him. I think I think Bryce Young can easily have a Trevor Lawrence like comeback, you know, where you just had a coaching staff that just didn't work for the quarterback. Um, Bryce comes comes out and you know he he could outperform. I think he's a he's one of those guys that um, you know when when he was coming out he was the. You know, he was he was the top, right? He was he was one of the top. Uh, there was an argument here and there, but I mean, for the most part, he, he comes out as as the top, and then he has a bad season. And now everybody's like, "Yeah, he's garbage." You know, yeah. I'd rather have I'd rather have, uh, you know, Russell Wilson over him. There's, there's mm-hmm. some anybody on the thirty two. Yeah, exactly. And 50. to me, I just I, that makes no sense. Like, I I, yeah. I think Bryce Young, but I don't think Bryce Young has the upside of points. Um, 
right you know at least i haven't seen that i think i think what what cornalis I'm saying that wrong. Canalis. Cornalis. Canalis. Yeah. Cornalis. I, I think Cornelio. I mixed him and, and what's the dude, uh, the, the singer. Um, Chris Cornell. Dave. Yeah. Chris Cornell. I think that, and again, it's all speculation, right? But at this point, I don't know if JJ's going to start this year. Bryce, I think Should value sit, could spike. I think. Yeah. I think he's going to sit behind Darnold. Or, or I, I kind of hope so. Right. I, I feel like that would be, that would be a great move. And so, Again, value wise, I think I could probably go Bryce over McCarthy with the plus, um, and then swing back when Bryce is doing better and pick up JJ again. You know, halfway yeah. through the season or something like that. You know, I've, yeah, I've done some trades like that in the past. So we've got about ten picks in between JJ and Bryce Young and our ADP. And mm-hmm. I, you know, I got to be honest. Like I, I would, I the value right now is laying on on McCarthy. So if you, if, I, I wouldn't, I. I I would love to trade down from JJ's value down to Bryce because I think it, you know, I don't know. It feels like it's more than what the ADP is telling us right now, but this is what it's telling us. And but I, I would, I would, I would make that move down. And what what you don't know is if you're going to get the JJ had good athleticism and, and has some legs. So if you yeah. can get some of that hidden yardage and and the scrambling around from JJ. Bryce Young will scramble to throw. Oh, you know, yeah. not that's you know, he's not a he's not a runner by any means. Um, JJ the same, but I think JJ can run, you know, four first downs and pick up yardages and, and, and chunks. I think Bryce and some people people are gonna probably hate this, but I think Bryce is a better quarterback right now. Uh, oh, I agree. He was terrible last year, but I mean it was a great college quarterback. Um, McCarthy was on a good team. McCarthy went at like there, there's analytics and measures and, and models that love what JJ McCarthy did and, and the little bit of stuff that he was asked to do when he was asked to do it. He did it at a high level, but um, I, I, I think Bryce has is, is got a whole nother level and a whole nother gear. If, if JJ McCarthy was in Bryce's situation last year, we'd be saying the same thing about JJ McCarthy, if not worse. Um, yeah. And I, well, I, and I w- go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I would just, the other thing I would say is I'd rather play the um division that Bryce is in than McCarthy right uh because <laughs> some of those defenses are loaded um in in Minnesota's uh in in my you know from what I've seen and what 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 has been added in the um in the north there mm-hmm. I just feel like I would rather play in Tampa and 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 that so so that kind of comes into because those don't change right your division right. opponents don't change so that it's a small thing but it, it's also something that I just kind of think about that's in the back of my mind when I'm looking at at rankings and tiebreakers so like you said I I, I definitely enjoy the 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 pair down yeah and and you know we, I've said it before and I'll say it all off season and uh, it's it's a growing sentiment I think amongst people but I am in I'm I'm very smitten with Canales I love yeah. what they're doing how they're doing it. Uh, to me and the, and the word is is just he's very deliberate and intentional with how he's moving what he's doing the players he's getting and could be a, a huge uh not ready yet moment uh, and go back to being a good coordinator for a little while and try again but i i i feel like what they're what they're doing and building right now feels like it's got bones. legs like it's yeah. it's, it's going to turn into something a, a nice little culture there maybe it's not the last stop for the the Carolina Panthers and you know they don't seem like the most stable front office so maybe they 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 bungle that one way or another but I don't sure. think it'll be on Canales's uh, fault there so Baker or JJ for me I, I'll probably go JJ just reset the, the clocks and everything but you know Baker's going to give you good starts this year uh, so that's definitely all right so let, let's move to the last two quarterbacks let's go Bo Nix Michael Penix kind of pair them up together here and then we can sort it out uh or will levis yeah um this is a hard one i mean you know with Penix and cousins if obviously if cousins wasn't there Penix would be in a different tier for me because i'm a i'm a big Penix energy guy um but at this point i have levis ranked above both the knicks and Penix. I like what Tennessee's done. Um, I again, I just think point-wise, scoring fantasy points. There's a new system being put in place in uh, in Tennessee, and um, I think the emphasis on run may not be as strong as it was in the past. And so, so I feel like I could take Levis, and he'd be a great, you know, quarterback two, quarterback three type of type of 
spot for me um, with the idea that I could possibly flip him later on and, and, and add some value or write him, you know, write him down, down to ship lane. So yeah. What about you? I think, I think that I think I'm pretty much the same there. I like Penix a lot more than I like Will Levis, but Will Le- for everything you just said, that what they've surrounded him with, what they're going to try to do, he's got every opportunity here, and he's just he's that he's he could really be an escalator here quickly, meaning shoot you know moving up in value, and and that eighth round right here just seems like it's a really really fun shot to take, and we're not going to know it with Penix here for a minute. It's real right. close. I mean, I, I, but I, I I'll know pretty you know i'll know with levis this year with Penix, i'm gonna be sitting around i need i, I want some other things to be happening bo Nix, i don't love bo Nix. i do like kind of where he went and the fit with the coach yeah um yep. and that he is going to get an opportunity right away but I, all things equal you know i think levis is probably bo Nix, you know spider-man meme and yep. has has a better arm um he's, he's got a real that this that releases seem to be uh, pretty dang quick and he, he'll throw it all over the yard uh, big big physical guy so uh, I'll, I'll go the situation of of Levis is a lot more fun and tantalizing and if it goes it's really going to explode where I don't know that things are necessarily going to explode with Bo Nix but you're going to go oh yeah you know Nix Nix could play Nix could play yeah. if things got better around him I could see how this uh you know could really be something there um so. Yeah, I think if 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 it was a uh, points per completion league, I think Knicks might go up a tier for me, right? Because yeah. I think he's going to be death by a thousand paper cuts this year, yeah. uh, kind of like he was. Levis in will not, you know, not. Yeah. Well, he will. Exactly. I mean, if 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 Callahan's doing his job, I think you, he needs to be pumping it to Pollard and 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 Spears, um, yeah. just to kind of get things moving and working. But then I, you, you know, he he wants to rip it downfield. Yeah, he's gonna he's he's gonna try to score those you know, eight point ten point fantasy you know fantasy points in one game uh, one play type type of thing where Bo Nix may take you know quite a few plays to get up to that ten point. So so for me, yeah, the ceiling's a little bit higher um, for Levis over Nix. Um, honestly, I I have in my rankings Nix just above Penix, but I I. I don't like it. I, I probably would would change that. If I mean, I, I just yeah, think at this point, putting the, you know, tires to the pavement there. Yeah, I mean, on a championship contender, Nix is my third or fourth <laughs> quarterback. Yeah, I probably would do that over Penix because I'm trying to get a ship. But if I'm kind of in the middle or or I'm set at quarterback and I feel really good, I have three and and these guys are my fourth, then then I probably would go Penix over Nix. Yeah. All right, let's let's in single to... quarterback. No, okay, how about Super flex. how about Justin Fields or Penix and Knicks? Uh, I have Fields, let's go Fields below. or Penix. Fields or Penix. I, I have Penix. Yeah, I, I would go Penix there. I'm a wait and see on Fields. Um, he's the Anthony Richardson uh, upside play that you know he he could have that, um, but I just I don't know. I I feel like I don't believe in Fields as much as I. I don't know if I ever really believed in him. I just like the leg part of it. So I just, I, I, I kind of have him, I have him lower. I, I have Daniel Jones over Justin Fields. So Ooh. that tells you Daniel Jones is my, uh, if Hakeem Butler doesn't come back into the league, <laughs> then Daniel Jones is my comeback player of the year. If Hakeem Butler doesn't come back. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah. He's I, an MVP. I, I love taking Justin Fields in this, like in that 10th ish round right there. He's, yeah. He just feels like a, a, a really, really great stab there that could just be huge or might, might be nothing. But, boy, I do like taking that. But I'm, I'm going to take Penix because there's, there's no – nobody has a bad taste in their mouth from Penix right now. Right. right. And, and whether he plays or not, I, I don't think his value is going to change a whole lot. Could, could move up a little bit with some off-season buzz. You know, people are real excited. Um because they're seeing some some fun stuff in training camp there or something or you know how people get so that as silly as that is um but i'll i'm gonna stick with Penix there but i do love i do love taking fields but Penix uh Penix for me so all right big d is there anything on the way out here that you would like to state of of, of another guy over another guy or something that we missed well there was so many moves to make i don't even know how you could have kept up with it but <laughs> yeah. you know the show must go on. So, I mean, I would just say don't sleep on Gino. Um, I Ooh. think Gino is is a good 
you know, he's a he's a great asset right now. I I could see him being getting extended in Seattle this year. Um, I know a lot of people think he sucks, including um, half of the Seattle fan base. Sure, but um, hell, I, I I think that uh, the way that the passing game is has has been the last couple of years. I think the change there and how I believe they're going to use JSN and that. So I, I have Gino above Bo Nix uh, as an example. I have him right around the Will Levis, um, Kirk Cousin range for me. But I think he's so much cheaper than um, than all, all than those guys. All those guys, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I haven't price checked it lately, but I, I I'm almost certain that he's you know you're you're getting any of those guys. I mean, sorry, you're going to get Gino plus on any of those guys at the at, right at this moment. So. Ten nine. Yeah, and Bo, Bo Nix is seven eleven. Yeah, yeah. So you and get, I would much rather have a, Gino than Bo Nix. You're getting a this. pile of goodies yeah. on top of that. So <laughs> pile of goodies yeah. in Gino, uh, or Bo Nix. It's Gino Smith for uh, you know one more just move to make. That was just a colossal amount of moves to make. Yeah, it's crazy, crazy. You want the moves? We gave it to you, baby. Shake yeah. it. All right. Well, also you know we we mystery box. What's your rookie pick worth? You know, <laughs> rookie values, ADP review, whatever you want. It's all there for you. Titles, titles, titles. All right, Big D. We're going to head over to the Patreon. Go have some fun. Roster sure. reviews. Uh, going to talk some shit. Uh, I got some, we got some Patreon questions over there. So come join us. We see y'all. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Hit that five-star review, dog. On the podcast. Peace. Peace. <laughs>